This statement reads as, for all x contained in a set S, there exists a y contained in the set S such that x divides y. And we need to find the negation of that. OK, well, the negation of for all x in S is there exists an x in S such that it is not the case that there exists a y in S such that x divides y. So now we need to look at this knot here. OK, well, the knot of there exists a y is for all y. So we have there exists an x contained in S such that for all y contained in S, it is not the case that x divides y. And now all we need to do, not x divides y, means x doesn't divide y. So finally, we have there exists an x in S such that for all y in S, x does not divide y. And that is answer B.